Here we're going to deal with another question that's quite similar to the previous one. Here we're going to combine uh, the two solid objects. One will be hemisphere and another will be a cone. Let me read the question to clarify you more. A toy is in the form of cone of radius 3.5 centimeter. Okay, a cone of radius 3.5 centimeter. Cool. Mounted on a hemisphere. Wow, that is over the hemisphere of the same radius. Wow, of the same radius. So it's better to make the picture. The total height of the toy is 15.5 centimeters. So combination of these both makes the total height of 15.5 centimeters. So find the total surface area of the toy. So let me picturize it as I told you. Once you understand the question, now we understand the question. Very easy to make the picture. So let's do the second step. First is understanding. We understand it. Go for the next one, picturizing. So let's picturize this, all right? Uh, so the question is saying, uh, the cone is uh, mounted over a hemisphere. So at the bottom, we have a hemisphere. All right, let's say uh, this is my hemisphere, all right? And uh, a cone is mounted over it. So I'm just trying to draw a cone over it. Okay. Let's say this cone is mounted over this hemisphere. Okay, now the question is saying, uh, the cone is having the radius of 3.5 centimeters. So the radius of the cone is 3.5 centimeter. And the hemisphere of the same radius, and the hemisphere is also having the same radius. In it means this is the common uh, radius for both, same radius for the cone as well as the hemisphere. So if this is 3.5 centimeter, then definitely you can say that this is also 3.5 centimeter. Yes, this is also 3.5 centimeter. All right, and 100% you can say that this will be also 3.5 centimeter, because why you know? If this is 3.5 centimeter, this is 3.5 centimeter. So the total total uh, diameter of the cone, uh, total diameter of the hemisphere, then total diameter of the hemisphere is going to be 3.5 plus 3.5, 7 centimeter. So if I'm going to draw uh, just another hemisphere over it, just the another part of the hemisphere, then if this is 3.5, then this will be also 3.5. So then only I will get the total 7 centimeter. All right. Uh, I mean, you understand it, you know, this is 3.5 centimeter. Uh, this, this, I, I just want to say that this is 3.5 centimeters. So now what we get, uh, you know, the radius, all right? And uh, next thing, we are given the height also, all right? I mean, the height of the total vessel is 15.5 centimeter, just like in the previous video. Uh, so from here, what is what is the reason behind I will, uh, I find out that I found out that this is 3.5 centimeter that so that you can you can easily find out the height of this cone you know the total is 15.5 this is 3.5 so this must be how much yes 12 centimeter all right then only you know from here to here then only this is 12 and plus 3.5 that's going to be 15.5 so the height of the cone we get as a 12 centimeter so if you know now the height, next thing easily you can find out is the slant height. That we generally most of the time we represent by L, all right? So what is now L? So L is always, you know, uh, by using the Pythagorean theorem, you'll get under root R square plus H square, all right? You can find out now L, you know? Uh, actually see, this is, this is right angle and uh, square of the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is here L square will be the sum of the square of the base that's r square plus the height all right plus height square okay this is our h this is our r so in that way l is under root r square plus h square so what is the radius radius is 3.5 so square of 3.5 square and it height is almost 12 so square of 12 okay so 3.5 i'm doing 7 over 2 square and 12 square that's 144 and that's going to be uh, 49 over f over 4 plus 144. All right, and now it's 49 plus 144 4 times 4. Let me do it with calculator faster. Into 4, that's going to be 576. All right, 576 divided by 4. And you know, what is 49 plus 576? The square of 25, uh, 625 plus 49. I'm doing with the help of the calculator well. 625 divided by 4. And you know 625 is the square of uh, square of 25 and 4 is the square of 2. So our our slanted 
length slanted height is going to be 25 by 2 that's 12.5 centimeter so here we get one more thing none this now length is is 12.5 centimeter and now no one in this world is here to stop us to find out the total surface area of this toy because we know everything my dear friend everything you know the slanted height the normal height of the cone the radius and the radius of the hemisphere everything we know so the third step is now use appropriate formula well, actually we use already the appropriate formula here the third step we had already begin so the next uh, thing we need to do is uh, writing the our answer total surface area of the toy that is surface area of the cone that will be a curve surface area keep in mind and the curve surface area of the hemisphere because this is not visible though it is looking you it's visible to you but it's not visible all right so the total surface area of the facial will be equals to the curve surface area of uh, cone plus curve surface area of hemisphere and that's equals to curve surface area of cone we know everybody you, you should know the formula right you must know the formula before starting the mensuration i'm telling you i think since many videos you must remember all the formula of mensuration all right and curve surface area of hemisphere that's uh, 2 pi r square so here i can take the common pi and now uh, pi r i can take common uh, all right pi r then it will be left with l plus 2 r okay so let's put the value pi that's 22 over 7 and radius that's 3.5 or it's better to write 7 over 2 because we can cancel 7 by 7 and length slanted length that's 12.5 or you can say 25 by 2 plus 2 r 2 times uh, r r is our 7 over 2 all right so let's go further 7 and 7 cancel 2 times 11 so it's 11 and now uh, 2 and 2 so the base is same 25 plus 7 times 2 that is 14 so it's going to be 11 over 2 times 25 plus 14 5 plus 4 9 30 39 so 11 times 39 that my calculator is showing 429 429 divided by 2 and again my friend calculator is saying it's 214.5 centimeter square so 214.5 centimeter square we got the area of the facial hey hey all right like like this we need to solve it so again i'm just telling you the three step just understand the question that's your first step once you understand the question picturize it that's your second step and the third step is use the appropriate formula all right and and get the answer get the solution that's it that's the three step to find a uh, any 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 type of the uh, solution of any type of the question all right three or four step whatever you say use appropriate formula for finding unknown values and then finally put the formula to find the questions answer anyways you know i hope you understand it and if there is any more confusion or anything you need to ask me about this then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely reply back and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button Bye bye